In this video, we're going to look at why it's important for you to only recognize comparisons as being true when they refer to the same whole. Now, what I mean by that is most people would agree when they see three forces greater than two force, that's a true statement. Now this statement assumes that we're talking to this uh, talking about something with the same size. So maybe the same size pizza. If I have three fourths of that pizza versus someone who has two fourths, well, we could say that I ate more than them because the pizzas are the same size. But here's where you run into some issues. If we are not comparing the same whole, is three-fourths always greater than two-fourths? What I mean by that is, let's say I had a pizza... Oops, let's go ahead and redraw this. Let's say I went to the store and I had a small pizza. And my friend John went to the store and he had an extra-large pizza. And of my pizza, I ate three-fourths of it. So I ate this amount of pizza. And when John went to the store, he ate two-fourths of his pizza, meaning that he had this amount of pizza. Now, you can see here that John actually had more pizza than me, which would mean that he ate a greater amount than me. But we know that three-fourths is greater than two-fourths, so how does this make sense? Well, here you can see it only makes sense to compare two numbers if you are referring to the same whole. That means, you're, in this case, you're referring to the same size pizza. It could also mean, maybe we're talking about listening to an album, a music album. If I listen to half of um, one album, and my friend listens to two-thirds of another album, it's still possible I actually listen to more, even though one half is less than two-thirds. So whenever you are comparing two fractions, make sure those fractions are referring to the same thing or the same whole.